Hi Libras, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's get started with your reading. So today we are going to be doing your October predictions. Um, I've already pulled out a card. My camera died randomly. I don't know what went on. I literally don't know. I think it's all the spirit guides. Um, so this is your reading for today. This is your general reading. And I'm also getting a massive pain in my thigh and my, my left leg. So I don't know if any of you are getting that pain, but that's what I got. <laughs> that's what I'm getting right now. So we have the card of communication for your general energy, number 33. This is to do with heartfelt communication and um, communication coming from your solar plexus. So being really strong, um, kind of not ignoring your anxiety, but kind of trying to overcome anxiety and anxious communication. So maybe something you want to talk about and you're quite anxious about talking about it. We also have time out, number 37. So we're going from 33 to 37, and now my camera isn't focusing. This is going well. <laughs> 37. Guys, I don't know what's going on. Um, we're going to pull you one more card out, actually, for you Libras. Forgiveness. Wow. So there's definitely somebody who is rattling your chains at the moment. I don't know if that's the right word, but, or right quote, but rattling your chains. Forgiveness. Not right word. That's a sentence, not a word. And then teaching and learning. This is definitely the month of teaching and learning. So you could be teaching someone how to do something and you could be learning in the process. So you could also just be generally a teacher or you could just be teaching people. So we have communication, time out and forgiveness. So there's definitely an element of you separating yourself from people and kind of being in your own energy. Um, if you're feeling the effects of this Libra energy, take time out. Remember to have some space. Um, let's get some cards for your what's communication about. Oh, that came out. Miracles. Have faith that your miracle is on its way. Your prayers have been answered. Surrender to the how. Love that. Uh, what's time out all about? I'm getting back pain. So maybe you guys are sitting at the computer for too long. Make sure you're not hunching over when you're sitting at the computer. Make sure to like roll your shoulders, get loose, do some possible yoga. <clears throat> and then we have passion. Do what excites you, get fired up about your life, increase your energy levels. So you may be kind of overworked, so make sure you're not overworking yourself. You may just be feeling like, ugh, <laughs> ugh, that's kind of what I'm getting. So make sure you're doing things that excite you, take time out to kind of, from responsibilities, yeah? Okay, and then we have awareness. Live in the moment, be conscious of your thoughts, look for signs and guidance. So there could be an element of you wanting to kind of, um, focus on forgiveness because somebody might be really annoying you so you may need to kind of forgive that person and there may be signs that you need to forgive this person okay i feel like the universe is going to give you signs of how to forgive this person and what to do and when to do it so you don't have to kind of worry about that um there may just be a forgiveness of yourself being conscious of your thoughts you may be kind of overthinking a lot so you may just have to be really kind of kind to yourself and just think actually it's okay i'm doing my best i actually think that today i thought I'm doing my best. That's all I can do, you know? And then we have discernment. All is not what it seems. Stay true to your knowing. Keep your dreams a secret. I'm getting this card a lot with these, all these readings. Um, you're the 10th reading I'm doing today. I'm doing all of the readings today, literally in one day. So I'm definitely feeling for you guys, it's really, really important for you to understand that not everyone is on the same page as you. And some people just don't understand. So it's really important to just have patience with them. And there may be somebody who you may need to forgive or somebody's going to forgive you for something you did. I don't know, some sort of forgiveness going on in, and being aware of that forgiveness and knowing that it's okay and it's coming up for a reason. You may be communicating about forgiveness and having a, a chat with someone, possibly an old friend, or there's generally just some sort of communication that's coming forward. It may be communication of a new job, a new situation, a new opportunity, you know, maybe in love as well. Okay, so it's also be discerning about teaching and learning. Um, as I say, not everyone is on the same path. Everyone's on different paths. So it's really good to understand that it's okay not to rush things and not to rush other people. Everyone's on their own time, you know? Everyone's learning at a different pace. So it's really good to be aware of that. And I definitely feel there's like an energy of like nervousness and anxiety with this Libra energy. There's like a irritation. Everyone's getting really irritated, especially with relationships. So I definitely feel that for you guys. So just really kind of be careful with yourself. Just be gentle. Take time out, as the cards say. And take time out to do things that you're really passionate about. That rhymed. Poet didn't know it. I think that's really, really good for you guys. So we have in love. We have the six of wands. We have the five of cups. So 
something didn't turn out the way you wanted it to i'm getting the death card as well you may be dealing with a scorpio or a capricorn or an aries or a sag or a leo or a taurus <laughs> got all the signs in one go yeah something didn't turn out the way you wanted it to you were like yes let's go for it and then it was like oh it was disappointing could be a relationship that you're in and you're kind of maybe being going from a relationship to being single um but i see you already know this is going to happen anyway so i just see you possibly making that decision there's going to be a death process in a relationship so it could be to do with a friendship <clears throat> it could be like i can't deal with this anymore i have to leave or they can't deal with it anymore and they have to leave so it could be like like that i'm not actually expecting you guys to break up with somebody but i feel like you already know if you're going to break up with somebody this would be already happening you know so it's not going to be a massive surprise so we've got the temperance so this is you guys balancing out those emotions really forgiving yourself forgiving yourself for what's going on and knowing that we're not all perfect guys we're all doing the best we can we then, we then got the uh seven of cups and the ace of cups so you once you release something you're going to have much more options so you may be kind of for some of you i'm seeing very bluntly some of you guys in relationships and you really don't like your partner or you're just not very happy so for some of you guys i feel like october is going to be the month of release the month of forgiveness i forgive you but i can't be around you anymore i can't i can't be with you anymore and then you kind of release that person then you'll become your independent self not that you are not that you're not independent in a relationship but you're really giving yourself the time of day and saying actually this is what i want to do for myself and i'm going to balance my emotions out work on myself and then a new option comes in okay this can be to do with friendships as well but i'm seeing this is mainly for you guys uh, in relationships and just with relationships sorry that's not focusing but, um <coughs> it's a communication you don't want to have yeah communication you don't want to have but afterwards it's going to be a miracle okay you're stepping out your comfort zone <clears throat> i'm seeing and then there's a knight of swords excellent strong movement coming forward for you guys who are single <clears throat> you may be going forward but feeling like you're going backwards um there's going to be a sudden death process and there's going to be possible a new person coming in possibly another air sign or earth sign work on those pentacles work on those coins and the more you do that the more options you're going to get because your focus is away from love and on to um, your foundation and do something you really enjoy do something you're passionate about take time out do something you're passionate about take time out do something you're passionate about <laughs> i'm sorry guys i make myself cringe so <laughs> um yeah and i see you doing really well i love the fact the ace of cups is right at the end of the spread which basically means you're ending on a really good note so by mid-october i do see a massive change happening i see that death process happening and you coming into your environment you are telling me you're no longer in a toxic environment you're no longer doing what they want you to do you're then doing what you want to do whatever that means to you you're basically taking back your power i'm feeling you really in something you're like no 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 this is mine taking that back you know um I'm also seeing a gift being given back to that person. So you may be given a gift and then you're giving it back to that person, which is really interesting. You're reading it back, you know? Um, yeah. I feel like you're making some really tough decisions. For some of you, they could be really big decisions or they could just be, you know, small decisions, but they feel really big to you. Um, because I feel like this is the month of awareness. This is the month of passion. So you guys having those two together awareness and passion it's being aware that you want to focus on yourself and not on anyone else okay and because this is libra season this is basically about everyone else so you're kind of like actually do you know what for the rest of the year it's all been about everyone else this month is about me <laughs> and then it's going to be like that for the rest of my life now <laughs> yeah so it's really focusing on yourself in terms of career we have the hangman this could be to do with, I feel like the career part of your section is to do with teaching and learning. That's the career part and effort we have underneath. So it's going to be quite a lot of effort for you to possibly teach yourself and you may be learning something new, but you also may be teaching somebody else. Um, and you could be working on your physical activity and health, okay? And possibly could be making you feel very prideful. We have physical activity health and pride so you could be working in terms of career i feel like you could be doing um fitness or you could just be working out you know 
and working on your body and your fitness, that sort of thing. Okay. It's going to take a lot of effort to shift this, whatever this is, but it's going to be worth it, okay? Not to say that it's going to be, it probably won't even be that some of you, it's not even going to be that hard because I thought you're halfway there. For some of you, it might be a little bit more effort, but whatever this is that needs to shift, it's going to shift. It's going to shift. Let's have a look at career, the hangman. What else do we have? What else? Oh, that was a fun, that was a fun little thing. I just got um, an image of a toaster and the toast being ready and popping out, popping out the toaster. Oh, I like that. You're like springing into action. Love that. Right, career. So possibly thinking about a new career. Right, I think for some of you, you're thinking, this isn't the job that I want anymore. I don't want this anymore. This is boring. This doesn't feel, I don't feel passionate about this anymore. So you're possibly thinking about new options and options are coming in with the world card. Beautiful. Yeah, you're aware of this and you're taking time out to figure out something you're passionate about, which is what I said earlier. I think it's going to take a lot of you to communicate about something towards your career, but it's going to be worth it, okay? Strength card, as I said, going to be worth it. Then I have the uh, Ten of Swords. Yeah, ending an old cycle, something you're not very happy about. In terms of career for some of you who are, who are pretty happy in your job, I feel like it's just an adventure for some of you guys. It's going to be an adventure. There's going to be something um, that you're going to figure out about your career that you're like, hmm, I didn't think about it like that. Or let's try something new. Let's spice it up. That's definitely the element of this month for you guys. Like for all the signs, it's literally like spice it up, do something new. <laughs> um, and then the three of cups here. So celebration. Yeah, it's like you're celebrating because you've achieved something, you've you've come out of something, and then you're really, like, you're really, um, you're really, what's the word, universe, what's the word? You're really proud of yourself. Thank you. You're really proud of yourself. This is you being very proud of yourself, of how far you've come, okay? <sighs> something doesn't suit you anymore, you're moving away from it, you're having the strength to move away from it, and you're leaving it, and you're then you're going to be really proud of yourself for leaving it and then you're going to be balancing your emotions after it's kind of like after surgery your body has to recover from the shock it's kind of like what you're going through not to say you're going through surgery or anything like that it's just kind of like um it's kind of like the calm after the storm not calm before it's like the storm has happened now it's everything's just starting to calm down um and it's definitely like a process it's like putting yourself first i'm seeing like putting yourself first is going to be really really important i love that it's almost like the death card is it's like underneath the queen of pentacles we have the death card i feel like this queen of pentacles is like the mask for the death card so it's almost like underneath the queen of pentacles is the death so underneath this she looks like this <laughs> And I feel like that's really, really powerful. It's like, I didn't know how I had this much strength until now. Okay, so I really hope you guys enjoyed that reading for October. Thank you for being patient with me. I know this was a little bit late, but I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely love doing this reading for you guys. Happy Libra season, happy birthday, or if it's your birthday, or if it already has been your birthday. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you. Much love to you. If you'd like to subscribe, the button is down below. If you'd like to like this video or comment, I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you'd like to get a private reading with me, all the information is down below. Love you, Libras, and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.